The New Mexico Arts and Crafts Fair has been a must-see summer event for 50 years, long time. And joining me to tell us about the 50th anniversary celebration that's coming up next weekend is president of the New Mexico Arts and Crafts Fair, and that is the man next to me, Ron Berman. Thank you so much for joining nice us today. Nice to be here. Great to have you in all of your beautiful art, especially, and we will get to that. But before we go any further, tell me a little bit, we're talking 50 years. How has the fair changed over the years? Well, the fair's changed fairly drastic. The first few years, it was actually a celebration of the 50th, uh, uh, 50th year of statehood for New Mexico. Right, of course. It was in uh, Old Town. Uh, Maria Martinez, uh, the governor, uh, various people were involved with the first for, first for you, few years. Sure. And uh, they, uh, uh, up through 1969, it was in Old Town, and uh -huh. then they moved to the state fairgrounds. It was an outdoor festival for uh, quite a few years, and then finally moved indoors. Yes. Well, now, of course, we are dealing with also a lot more art. And who are some of the arts and crafts people who are actually participating in the fair? Well, we've got a, a fairly nice selection this year. We've got, uh, for our 50th anniversary, we have uh, uh, five featured artists. Okay. We have Amato Pina, mm. Carolyn Carpio, she's a potter. Uh, we have uh, Charlie Carrillo, he's a Santero. Uh, Robert Rivera, he's a gourd and multimedia uh, artist. And okay. Harvey Buchalter is a sculptor as well as 220 other artists. I love that. I love it. And it's, and it's such a, uh, a celebration of creativity. And we actually have some photos to show as we talk about a little bit more about the fair itself. We can tell me maybe a little bit about what we're looking at here. That's uh, a piece by Amato Pina. Okay. And uh, he's been uh, with the fair for probably 30, 30 years. Wow. So he's a staple. People come to expect his art, huh? Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, that, what is this? That's, that's beautiful. A piece, that's a piece by Carolyn Carpio. Uh, she's from uh, Isleta Pueblo. Oh, and wow. she does uh, uh, pottery as well as uh, bronzes. Beautiful. It's beautiful. And I, and I love, you know, it, it speaks to New Mexico. It's not, you know what I mean? It, there's something about it, especially coming from somewhere else originally and moving here. I see things now and I look at art and I say, that represents where I live. It really does. Absolutely. And that, this is beautiful. What is this that we're this looking at? This is Charlie Carrillo. He's uh, probably one of the more famous New Mexican Santeros. Mm -hmm. And uh, he carves all of his own wood. Uh, wow. He doesn't get uh, regular boards. He uses a uh, does it the old way with an ads and uh, just uh, native pigments, everything. He's, he's an amazing artist. That's fantastic. I love, I love the uniqueness and the quality of their work. And what is this? Uh, this is Harvey Bokalter. He's a uh, uh, renowned Southwest uh, sculptor. Okay. And uh, that's, uh, I'm trying to remember, I think that's a, uh, an alabaster piece. Oh, wow. So interesting, and we're going to be seeing all, all kinds of art, of course, at the fair. And I want to talk about some of what we're seeing right here in front of us. So tell me a little bit about this. Uh, this is, uh, uh, I've got a fairly personal uh, uh, experience with this. This is my, my wife's work. She's You're kidding. A, she's a renowned uh, micaceous clay potter. What's her uh, name? Patricia, Patricia Berman. Beautiful and, work, Patricia. Uh, she digs all of her own clay, cleans it. Uh, she gets it up by Ojo Caliente. <gasps> Everything's hand, uh, uh, hand coiled. She doesn't use a wheel or anything. I, I hope people and, uh, can see the detail. I mean, if we look over here, I mean, look at that detail. To me, that that's what makes it so unique and so gorgeous, so beautiful. Good work, Patricia. <laughs> <laughs> and is she going to have her work featured at the fair? She as well? will be uh, at the fair. Okay. And. Uh, uh, we'll have a, a full display. She does masks and various pottery. She does things with, with micaceous that a lot of people don't do. She does a lot of sculpting and that. So oh, wow. It's unique. So there will be a lot of sculptures, and we're also going to obvious, obviously going to be looking at a lot of paintings and what we see on our set right now. Just spectacular. I love what we're looking at. We're going to look at it right here, a little bit more of a close-up. We saw it before. Th that just jumps out at me. That is gorgeous. That's actually a photograph of a place called The Wave, which is... Uh, uh, west of uh, Page, Arizona. Oh, really? And, uh, it's uh, um, it's kind of a unique area. Uh, oh. They only give ten passes a day for photogra photographers to go in and wow. and photograph the area. And uh, it's up in a wilderness area. Pretty That's spectacular. That's spectacular. Yeah, that is truly spectacular. That is, and it's just it almost looks three dimensional. It's just got a gorgeous, a gorgeous look to it. I love the blue sky, and there's just so much. There's so much to that piece. And what about the other piece that we have here on the set? Let's uh, look at other, that real quickly. 
Yeah, the other piece that we've got there is uh, Margaret Bagshaw. Uh, she's an artist from Santa Fe. Okay. Uh, wow. She comes from a famous family. Her uh, uh, her grandmother was Pablita Velarde, a writer and uh, artist. Uh, her mother was Helen Hardin, wow. another famous New Mexican artist. Sure. So she's the third of the triumvirate and uh, does absolutely amazing stuff. In fact, she's our t-shirt artist this year. Oh, too. great. Well, you know what? I love to hear about the, the people who have been there for so long and who have a, a kind of a tradition with the fair, but you also support a lot of young artists. Tell me a little bit about how you deal with that. Well, we've got a, uh, a youth exhibit which uh, has over a thousand New Mexican kids from oh, preschool wow. through high school. And so that's a, a major display and uh, uh, so it's actually called the youth youth exhibit, oh, and so great. we'll have a, a close to a thousand pieces on display uh, in that same hall. We have a, uh, uh, a display this year called the uh, Treasures in Time, which mm. for our 50th we brought back 50 of our old time artists <gasps> uh, that have, did at least 25 years ago. So they're bringing one old piece, one new piece. That's and, a great idea. So it's going to be kind of a fun display too to see what they did back then. Some of them are in totally different mediums at this. That's point. what I was going to say. It would be interesting to see if they've changed or if things are just still very much the same as they were and it'll be nice to do some comparisons. Absolutely. I love that. And also the keynote exhibit, let's talk about that real briefly. Yeah, the keynote is the treasures. That is good. Okay, so that's and, our keynote. Right. So, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, and, and that's something to look forward to. And of course, we are going to be giving you guys the information because so many people out there want to be a part of this. And it is going to be coming up very soon this weekend. In fact, Friday, June twenty fourth. It all begins at ten a.m. It goes all the way till seven p.m. You have the whole day, and that goes all the way through the weekend. On Sunday, things ending just a little earlier at five. But uh, really, it's certainly worth getting out there. Ron, how much are the tickets going to be? Uh, tickets for adults are five dollars. Okay. Uh, kids twelve and under are free. Perfect. So we want to bring all the kids in if we can. Yes, and I and I think that youth exhibit is going to get a lot of attention. I think it's so exciting to get people passionate about something at a young age and allow them to see where they can go with it and to take it to another level as they continue to get you know as they continue to grow up. So wonderful. And you can get more information, of course, at nmartsandcraftsfair.org. Org. And uh, really, we appreciate you coming here and giving us more information. And thank you so much and your wife you. for sharing your beautiful art with us. Thank you. Thanks, Ron.